this is one of my presentation on one of my favourite films, The Dark Knight. Uh, anyone else? Watch this. The trailer is. We can all trust, so enjoy. The full screen. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I can't. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, enjoy it. Full screen. Just for me. Things that make it great. First of all, the story is really well worked uh, by the because it's it's a reboot of Batman. It's a sequel to a reboot, and it's brought it back to a dark tone of how the Tim Burton series was, but not. I don't know if it's dark or lighter, and um, probably more dark and more realistic tone to it. But yeah, it's staying true to the character of Batman because. In the previous films, before the Nolan reboot, was the George Schumacher, and that was very camp, <coughs> very camp kind of style to Batman, very light-hearted kind of tone that Warner Bros. wanted to take. It was bad, so yeah. And they brought in two new characters. So in the first of the reboot, they had Ra's al Ghul played by Liam Neeson. Spoiler. Uh, then they're now they brought in two really well-known. Characters slash villains of Batman, uh, Joker and Harvey Dent slash Two Face, by, played by Heath Ledger and, and Aaron Eckhart. Uh, they played really well. I, I liked how they kind of took the characters. Like Heath Ledger had his own interpretation, didn't take any kind of reference from Jack Nicholson, and Harvey Dent's Two Face is a lot more realistic than like the kind of one that Tony Lee Jones did in Batman Forever. So, yeah, and Christian Bale, this was his best performance as Batman. It showed the kind of hum humility of Batman and that he will literally do anything and he'll still not try and kill, still not kill and try not to stoop to the level of the Joker. Uh, secondly, like I said, Heath Ledger was amazing as the Joker. Uh, People had their doubts to start off with as when he was cast because people thought, oh, he's going to be crap and stuff like that. So I believe that that kind of drove him on to prove people wrong and it gave him a lot more to try and strive towards and like try and make people think wrong, basically, his casting. He did research characters uh, from the comics. From the previous incarnations, like the television show, uh, Jack Nicholson's very good one portrayal of him. 
And he also made a diary as the Joker in research for the character and trying to get it development of the character to, because it was a method actor, so he'd literally go as far as thinking of the Joker, dressing up in his clothes, making a diary of what the Joker would do and what's in his mind, and that made him probably one of the best Jokers there will ever be, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah. And then third, like I said, the dark story, uh, it's gritty and action-packed. Uh, the chemistry between Bill's man and the latest Joker worked very well. <coughs> As you can see in the clip I'm going to show later on, uh, it shows you kind of like the chemistry that needs to be between a Batman and a Joker character that makes them so identical but so different. Um, plus the addition of Two-Face, Harvey Dent gave it a different twist. Gave the film kind of like midway through, like, he, he, Harvey Dent was known as, wanted to be known as Gotham's White Knight compared to yeah. his Dark Knight. And, yeah, so, that, sh to show Harvey Dent's fall from Grace, basically, from being the White Knight to being a villain to Two Face, because he lost everything, basically, and it's, it shows you how much human the character is compared to the comics tale of him. Uh, then, yeah, basically it was manipulated due to the police. Since he thought that police, it was the police's fault that Rachel was not saved, uh, played by Maggie Gillian Hall. And then, decided to take him on five chance. That's basically the hard thing kind of way. Flips coins as that. And, and then Batman, because he's noble and he wants Gotham to still have its kind of white knight. He wants to see how you put them in a sense of that he was Gotham's kind of hero, not Batman. And that's why Batman told them to send dogs to them, basically show that he is the one that they should be hunting, not Harvey. And I think that basically made the story of Batman how it should be. He's the vigilante, he's not the hit. he is a hero, but he's a vigilante. And he's not the person that Gotham really deserves, but he is. And I think that's a really good kind of twist they put to it, showing the sequel after that. Uh, and yeah, that's that. Then, unusual fact, uh, Heath Ledger, when preparing for, to play the Joker, he based his voice upon he, uh, Tom Waits' voice. And here's a clip of the resemblance. Let's wind the clocks back a year. These cops and lawyers wouldn't dare cross any of you. I mean, what happens? Your, your balls drop off? Hmm? You, you see a guy like me. Freak. A guy like me. Look. How, is, uh, how long have you been here in Australia now? I got here last night. I was on the plane now from Paris for about uh, 22 hours. Mm -hmm. It was a fascinating flight. Mm -hmm. I have a growing level of popularity uh, throughout the uh, intercontinental United States, uh, <laughs> Japan, and uh, I traveled. But that was the comparison between the voices and how it like, basically took inspiration from him. Uh, these are shot types that they used. Uh, these are shots like leading lines, close ups, uh, point of view. Your thirds. This is a clip that shows but all of them, I think. Thank <laughs> you. 
Basically shows all of them. Here's some screenshots uh, of them. That's a lean line. That these are from the trailer that I found. That's lean line there. Rule of third is there. Uh, uh, POV shot there. Another rule of third there. Uh, and this one, my favourite clips from it. I think that's it. Start with the head, the victim gets all fuzzy. You can't feel the neck. See? You want me. Here I am. I wanted to see what you do. And you didn't disappoint. You let five people die. Then you let them take your place. Even to a guy like me, that's cold. I understand. Those mouthfuls want you gone so they can get back to the way things were. But I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. And why do you want to kill me? <laughs> I, I'm gonna kill you? What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, no. No. No, you. You will complete. Me, you're garbage, you kill somebody. Don't talk like one of them, you're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. I need you right now. When they don't, they'll cast you out. Like a leper. You see, their morals, their code, it's a bad joke. You've dropped at the first sign of trouble. They're only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. When the ships are down, these, uh, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. Where's Derek? all these rules? I mean, you think I'll save you? I have one rule. Oh, then that's the rule you have to break to know the truth. Which is? The only sensible way to live in this world is without rules. And tonight you're gonna break your one rule. I'm considering it. No, there's no one that's like you're gonna have to play my little game if you want to save one of them. Yeah. You know, for a while there, I thought you really were a dent. The way you threw yourself after her. <laughs> Look at you go! <laughs> you know about you and his little money. <laughs> Killing is making a choice. Choose between one life or the other. Your friend is just like a dummy. Oh, he's watching you like a bitch. <laughs> Nothing to do with all of this. I'm here to tell you what they are. Both And that's the point. You will have to choose. He's at 250 52nd Street. And she's on Kevin Wicks. That's just a little Yeah, that shows the chemistry, like I said before, between Bale's Batman and they're just joking. Sorry about that. And that's it. Yeah. Any questions? Can Mom move criticism? Yeah. Yeah, I see. That was very well put together. I very much liked how, like, how you went into detail with the Joker because he was a very interesting character and it's very interesting how he's legend in it. Did you know, you know the bit where he's uh, filming that news reporter? 
Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, that was actually like, he just got given the camera and he got told to take an actor. Yeah. And just go crazy, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, Andrew. Very, I thought it was very good. I liked the video where you showed the voice, the actor, the actor who he based his performance on. Yeah. And I also liked how you showed all those lead lines and real words. I thought it was very detailed. Thank you, very good. And neither. Colour on it like made it really captivating to the certain point you had. Yes, thank you. Anybody else? Pity, um, too many words. You you knew your stuff really well. You didn't have to read it. You could have actually had maybe three or four points. You know your first three slides. Yeah. And what was great about the film, you literally could have had maybe two or three very minor points, and you could have said the exact same thing because I could tell you knew your stuff because you don't yeah. really have to look at it. So in yeah. the future. Because it's distracting to the audience because there's so much to read, but they want to listen to you. It's they I'm, want to read, they want to listen to you, so it's best that you just put a little bit and you do all the talking and people listen to you. Yeah, it's uh, just a response to that. I did uh, put the highest words in bold because um, I thought, it because I, I needed kind of prompts to try and help me along with it. Some of it I won't be able to remember. I did, do know it's just I need that little thing to kickstart that kind of memory thing. So that's why I highlight things in bold. So. Uh, the audience can look at the ball bits. If they didn't, then it didn't work. But that's some try and help it with the audience and myself. What? Yes, you. you. <laughs> and you have to critique. You have to criticise me. Thank you. <laughs> and, that, and that's that's really good. But what I would say is keep the bits involved and get rid of the rest. Yeah. Yeah. So just use the bits involved as prompts. Yeah. Because I wanted to read that, but then I wanted to listen to you. So yeah. it's best to just have a few prompts and then you just do it. Yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else? Ooh. Okay.